Are you wondering if the new Samsung Galaxy Watch 7 can actually measure your blood oxygen level SpO2? Well then, yep, this watch can actually do that. So if we go and check these tiles basically, and all the way down, you have to click this add tiles here basically, and search for the, uh, like, that thing here basically. And by default, it's not, not added here. And this is what it will look like. So to measure it, you simply obviously have to place it on your wrist. However, when you measure it, make sure uh, this watch is right around here on your wrist. So look for your like uh, this uh, bone here, this wrist bone basically, and place it around here. So by default, I think it will maybe go there, but make sure it's up there. Otherwise, it will it will might give you actually false reading or it might not measure at all. Also, when measuring, make sure the strap is quite tight. So maybe tighten it up so it's very snug. Then we can click, click the measure and make sure you are rested basically and haven't like walked upstairs previously or and yeah, stay still for the moment. Click the measure, it even says you what to do here. So, but you don't really have to hold it like that. I think it measures just fine. So then uh, click OK and simply stay still and it let it do its job basically. And after it's done, it will display your measurement here. By the way, I really suggest you to take uh, like three measurements and like get the average out of those. Because if you try again, uh, like try it three times, it might actually give you a bit different value uh, from time to time. So again, it's uh, it's not that extremely super precise. So really take three measurements and divide the average really of them. And yeah, obviously this Galaxy Watch 7 obviously completely destroys the Apple Watch because Apple Watch has uh, got banned from using this feature. So yeah, still the Galaxy Watch 7 has this function. Right, good luck.